Now, let's move on to fluoride, which is the reason for this lovely display here. This is out of the Mail Online. Chemical used by Colgate Total Toothpaste to fight off gum disease is linked to cancer. And a chemical that has been linked to cancer cell growth is being used by millions of Americans in toothpaste every day it has emerged. The company behind Colgate Total insists that triclosan, which is to stave off gum disease, is safe because the toothpaste was approved in 1997 by the Food and Drug Administration. But toxicology documents used by the FDA to approve toothpaste were only released early this year after a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit. The, and reveal the agency relied upon company-backed science to reach its conclusion. And that was out of Bloomberg News. Well, I got news for you, and I'm about to prove it to you. Everyone but two of these toothpaste on here is filled with poison, and it's not this triclosan. It is fluoride, which is now right behind me. And in fact, that's just a giant blow up of what you find on the back of every fluoridated toothpaste. In fact, we're going to start with the Colgate Total. Here it is, whitening paste. So we look at the back. You can see the active ingredients. There, active ingredients, sodium fluoride, 0.24% anti-cavity. It also has triclosan, 0.30%. So there's the other cancer-causing chemical. But look at the warning. Warning, keep out of reach of children under six years of age. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Now, why would they do that? Why would they put a warning there in toothpaste if it's, you know, it's supposed to be good for you? Well, let's check out another one. Here's Sensodyne. It's another toothpaste, a, a toothpaste for sensitive teeth and cavity protection. Uh, once again, they have Stannis fluoride right there. And um, let's see, warning, if irritation, discontinue use, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, keep out of reach of children. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. There it is right there. Another fluoridated toothpaste with a warning about swallowing it. Aquafresh. Fluoride toothpaste, extreme clean with microactive foaming action. Whoa, all right. Active ingredient, sodium fluoride. There it is. And once again, um, use a pea-sized amount and active ingredients. Keep out of reach children under six years of age. If you accidentally swallow more than is used for brushing, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Do you see a pattern emerging? Do you see the fact that well, technically, you're brushing your teeth with poison because they're saying if you swallow it, contact poison control. You're not supposed to put this fluoridated toothpaste in your body. Now, let's move to one more. This is Crest Complete. Crest Complete with Scope Dual Blast. Boy, they just really shine this stuff up. This has got it over here. Sodium fluoride active ingredient. Warning, keep out of reach of children under six years of age. If more than is used for brushing, is accidentally swallow, get medical help, or contact Poison Control Center immediately. They have the uniformity of the warning. It's everywhere, okay? Now let's look at, here's a toothpaste called Tom's of Maine. Here we see the ingredients, uh, no fluoride, no sodium fluoride, no hexafluorosilicate, nothing like that. And there's nothing about not swallowing it. Does, doesn't seem to matter if you swallow the fluoride-free toothpaste. That doesn't seem to matter. Now let's look at some children's toothpaste. Here's Kids Crest with cavity protection, and it's got Sparkle Fun. Sparkle Fun right there. It's got Sparkle Fun just for you. Fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste. All right, just for you kids. There you go. Oh, it's got a little sodium fluoride in there and really good for you. Warning, keep out of reach children under six years of age. But wait, this is for my kids. Oh. If more than used for brushing is accidentally swallowed, get medical help or contact poison control right away. Do not swallow. Do not swallow. It says it right there. Do not swallow. Has fluoride in it. Do not swallow it. Now, last toothpaste here. This is uh, Colgate My First. Fluoride free. And on the front, it says safe if swallowed. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Huh. So it says nothing about uh, if you swallow this contact poison control. So what are we looking at? Obviously, it seems to be that fluoride is the one common denominator which will make you call poison control if you happen to swallow it. And I know you might not still believe me. That's fine. I'd like to turn your attention to an article that I wrote back in 2010. At one time, I did write a couple articles 
for InfoWars.com, and then I got more into the TV section. But this is from July 28th, 2010. Um, this was kind of my answer back to a WorldNet Daily writer who was laughing at people who were concerned about fluoride. WorldNet Daily writer says fluoride is good for you. An open letter to Phil Elmore, who was the writer of this article. And it basically goes through the history of why they started fluoridating, um, different incidents that happened, one of which was a tanker truck full of uh, uh, fluorosilicic acid, which is what they put in our water, uh, a tanker spilled over on the interstate in Florida and they had to close down the interstate and people were getting sick. Crazy stuff. I have some tables in there about the parts per million that they're adding to, uh, that they recommend to add to schools and communities for water. But if you keep going down underneath that, uh, that secondary maximum containment level, which talks about what fluoride can do to you. And the only bad thing they say about fluoride is that you get tooth discoloration. Well, here we go. Dr. William L. Marcus, senior science advisor of the EPA's Office of Drinking Water, was fired in response to a 1990 whistleblowing memo calling for a review of the cover-up of the National Toxicology Program study that demonstrated fluoride as a probable human carcinogen. The, and here it is from that memo. The type of cancer of particular concern with, uh, with fluoride, although not the only type, is osteosarcoma, especially in males. The National Toxicology Program conducted a two-year study in which rats and mice were given sodium fluoride in their drinking water. The positive result of that study, in which malignancies in tissues and other bones were observed, particularly in male rats, is conversion with host data showing that fluoride's ability to cause mutations and inducing cells to become cancerous. So there you go. There's another cancer-causing chemical in your toothpaste, not just the one in Colgate Total, which is the triclosan. It is sodium fluoride. Yet, why do they continue to put it in our drinking water? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Even in 2014, back in February, a Harvard study came out. Fluoride lowers children's IQ intelligence by seven IQ points. This was published out of Washington's blog, and you can read about the study there and the different effects of it. And just so you don't think I'm a crazy tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist, here is the actual Harvard study right here, Impact of Fluoride on Neurological Development in Children. And if you read through, it talks about how they studied uh, kids in China where there was hard and heavy fluoridation, and they found an average of seven IQ points drop in children in that area who were drinking fluoridated water. So you have to ask yourself, why do we fluoridate our water? We fluoridate our water here in Austin, Texas. You know how much they put in? They put in nine gallons an hour of this hydrofluorosilicic acid poison into our water. In fact, we're going to roll a little bit of footage here that was shot of a water treatment facility here in Austin, Texas that shows the fluoride tanks. And on top, on those tanks, it lists the MSDS, which you can see right there, is a four. That is the worst level of human reactivity. It can cause death. It can cause sickness just in minute concentrations, yet they tell you they want to put it into your water for your teeth, yet every toothpaste label says don't swallow it. Do you see the illogical going on? I see the illogical. It's right there in front of me. They tell you not to swallow the toothpaste, yet it's okay to put it in your water to drink it. I want to end this segment with a little video from Dr. Conant, Paul Conant, who has visited our studio several times. He's just going to talk... He's just a doctor of uh, biomed uh, biochemistry. That's all. M not a regular layman like me who could barely get words out of his mouth. He's just a professor and doctor of biochemistry. And he's retired now, but now he's trying to go around and warn people about water fluoridation and why we should just stop doing it. It's a toxic waste, and we should just get it out of our lives. And then when we come back from break, we're going to have an interview from Leslie Manukian, who is the producer of a greater good. We're going to talk about vaccines, a lot of health information today, so tune in. We'll be right back. I think the most important thing to recognize about fluoride is that it's extremely toxic. It is very active biologically, interfering with many basic biochemical processes, uh, enzymes, G proteins, hydrogen bonds, and so on. So it shouldn't surprise us that there's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. But the bottom line is that fluoride is extremely active biologically, that the first opponents of fluoridation going back to the 1950s were biochemists, inclu including scientists like James Sumner, who won a, a Nobel Prize for enzyme chemistry. And incidentally, there is no doubt 
that fluoride damages health because millions of people in India, China, and parts of Africa have had their health ruined by fluoride. The people have been crippled by fluoride and many other health effects. The argument, as far as fluoridation is concerned, is is there an adequate margin of safety between the doses which cause this known harm and incidentally documented in this report by the National Research Council published in 2006. Here a in, uh, fairly independent balanced panel looked at the literature for three years and in this 507 page report and 1100 references indicated that the EPA safe drinking water standard for fluoridation, for fluoride, is four parts per million, it's not safe, it's not protective of health, and needs to be lowered. But before I get into the health effects, let me explain my first concern, which remains my top concern. The level of fluoride in mother's milk, mother's breast milk, baby's first meal, is extremely low. It's 0.004 parts per million. That means a bottle-fed baby in a fluoridated community in the United States where we fluoridate the water at one part per million is getting 250 times higher dose of fluoride than a breastfed baby. And that is extremely disturbing. 